Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Mod Test Map. This is a new map out by Ninja Kurt, who bought us Big Fields Farm recently. It's 26.26 megabytes download, so really low uh, to download. There are no custom mods on this, it's kind of mod free. There's no custom crops on this map. Contracts are available. Um, if you come on New Farmer, which I'm a New Farmer, normal economy, as I always do my map tours, there are transport contracts. If you come on Farm Manager or start from scratch, there are contracts on any field you don't own. That's great, good to know. If you come on New Farmer, the biogas plant is already owned. Again, big thumbs up. It is 623 slots out of 1,299. Now again, before you turn off automatically, there is a very, very good reason for that, but also a reason that you can eradicate very, very quickly. If you come onto this on Farm Manager or start from scratch, that drops down to 232 slots out of 1,299. Now, this map... As we look around, it's pretty flat. It's like Big Field. I mean, Big Fields Farm did have some big dips in it. Field was it four, three or four over in the corner was had quite a few dips in it. This is designed as a test map, and I thought initially, well, that's all well and good, but that's pretty niche, isn't it? Really, that's only going to be for kind of YouTubers or people that are doing mod reviews. Or no, not at all. That's absolute rubbish. Because if you're new to the game, or if you've been playing the game for a long time, a lot of people will often have a, a map to one side. So if a new mod, mod comes out, or something you look down the list and think, actually, you know what, I quite like the look of that. I want to try that out, but I don't want to buy it on my map that I'm playing on. I don't want to test it on the map I'm playing on, because what if it goes wrong? What if it causes a problem? What you know? So it's easy or better to have a map to one side that you can test on. And at 26.26 megabytes download... It's a bit of a no-brainer. But there is so much more to this that's been done to make it a test map. I wanted to come on and check this because I, I picked Big Fields Farm for a little while, but there were no shadows. And the lighting, for me personally, was a little bit off. I was struggling to get good thumbnails. And I know it sounds weird, but if you're doing mod reviews, that can be quite important. This is different. We've got shadows, as you can see on the buildings. Uh, the lighting does seem better. But what we have got is stuff already for you. Now, as a, as a mod reviewer, would I change some of this? Yeah, I would. I'm going to move some of this around if I'm going to use this as my test map. But this actually solves a lot of problems that, again, as a mod reviewer, I have to kind of prep in advance. It takes that headache away. Now, if you want to come on and use this as a test map, it does the same for you. But that said, if you want to come on to here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, all of this stuff is gone. There's no silo, there's no machine shed, there's no um, sleep trigger, there's no machinery, there's no animal pens, there's no bales and stuff. Everything is gone, hence why the slot count is so low. Let's have a quick look on the map. This is the farm, this is the map, this is the fields. On New Farmer, you start with everything. You've got everything already. So like I say, as a test map, absolutely brilliant. But it doesn't just stop there. We have main cell points. We've got a sawmill. We've got a barn. We've got a bakery. We've got a spinnery. We've got the biogas plant. Again, already owned. If you come onto this on the others, on Farm Manager, we'll start from scratch. Prices for the biogas plant, 506999 But you've got a lot of bunker silos there. Um, field prices are pretty good. The periphery of the map, all the headlands and stuff, is 984000 for all of them. And then field prices for the smaller fields here, 126 grand, 128, 126, 128, 228, 288. Pretty much the same as we go across. So not too bad at all. We do start with a sleep trigger. That sleep trigger is removable. So you can put your own one in wherever you want. That's entirely up to you. The silo is removable. We do start with all the animal pens. And what's amazing with this as well, which again, from my perspective, and it may be for yours if you're testing stuff out, um, they start with 20 of each animal. I think apart from the horses, the horses don't. That's the horse pen just here. They're standard in-game horse pens. We start with chickens. 
we start with, well, all of them. We start with pigs, we start with sheep, we start with cows. 20 of each, which is brilliant. Now, the cell points, I'm not going to take you to each cell point. They're right here along this main road. There's only one road that runs across the middle. It doesn't go anywhere. We've got our pigs, we've got our cows, but what's even better as well is actually we'll go into this menu, go across. The cows already have milk and slurry and manure on hand. So if you need to use any of those things for testing things, machinery, equipment, whether you can transport milk, whether, you know, you can do that straight from here. The pigs have already got slurry and manure. The sheep haven't got anything. None of them have got any feed, so you can still feed them. You can test feed mixes. But what has also happened, Ninja Kurt has put over to one side here. We've got wool pallets. So if you need to test whether something auto loads wool pallets or you just need some for whatever reason, we've got some of each pallet. We've got egg boxes. We've got cotton bales. There's bits of everything. What's also really, really cool, and it's brilliant. It's been so well thought out. The sawmill's right here with a little clump of trees. Not too many, but if you get any forestry equipment, you can test out the forestry equipment on the little bit here. Now, could you make this into more of a map? Of course you can. The beauty of this being, because it's flat, if you come onto a farm manager or start from scratch, with a 232 slot count, you can do landscaping, you can add in your own forest, you can change the field shapes, you can do whatever you like. Placeable shouldn't be too much of a problem. It is pretty flat. I can't see why things wouldn't place. We are going to grab a vehicle and have a quick look at some, because there are some other features of this. Again, that for me personally, I think are absolutely brilliant. It's it's just a it's, it's a clever it's just a clever idea. I, I think I just it's brilliant. Let's have a look at what we start with in the menu first, shall we? Let's go to garage. We start with a Voucher N174, a John Deere 6250, a John Deere 6155, a Fent 1050, a Case 9240, a Chrome Big M450 for mowing. See, I mean, tons of equipment. Agrana HKD302, two of those. Uh, Stratman SCK. We've got the header for the harvester. We've got a corn header. We've got cultivator. We've got a cedar. Um... That's the cedar slash plant of the Great Plains YP2425A, which means you can pretty much put anything in the ground you want. Fertilizer spreader, we've got a weeder, we've got a loading wagon, baler, um, water container for animals, front loader equipment. Then we've got the cow, the cow pasture, pig pasture, sheep pasture, horse paddock, chicken coop, silo, easy shed. We've got the static wood chipper, which if you don't need that or want that for anything, you can, you know, you can always get rid of that. We've got a pressure washer and we've got the farmhouse. So we do start with an absolute ton of stuff. Now again, for me personally, there's a kind of set bit of equipment. Because for me, if I was using this as a test map, the things I would be testing are going to be things like tractors and harvesters and trailers and balers. But there's always going to be things you might want to test out. So you may want to keep a whole load of this, but it's all here. All the machine I don't think I've ever come onto a map with so much start machinery ever. I just, just <laughs> there is so much stuff here. It's incredible. Is there much to the map? I know people say, oh, the map's boring, the map's flat. Then customise it, landscape it, do what you want to it. But that's not the point of this map. The point of this map is that whole concept of testing things out. Let's grab, I don't know, it doesn't matter which one we grab, let's grab this one. I'm going to show you some other features, which I think are absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's go this way. Now, all the fields we own, I'm pretty sure it says on here, there is one of each crop. So every crop we've got standard in-game, not all the extra ones. There's one field with each crop in, ready to harvest. So if you get a mod come out for cotton, there's cotton ready to bale. If we get any kind of harvesters, you can harvest any crop you like on here. There's a grass field just here, so if there's stuff you want to show off for mowing, that's here. You know, we, again, very, very clever idea. The biogas plant on New Farmer, already owned, saves any hassle setting up and putting in money. Now, if you want to put in extra money, we do have the government subsidy mods still available. It's there. I know a lot of people still use the cheap, but they're going to multiplayer and add money in. Uh, you don't need to. The government subsidy signs, each sign on normal economy pays out 100,000 per hour and you can place as many of them as you want. 
you know, you can build it, you can place 20, that's 2 million per hour, just speed up time for a few hours, you've got enough money to test as much as you want for ages. No problem at all. We've got a little bit of a test track here, so we can do a straight drag rate, drag test, if you want to just test the speed of something. We've got the... <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I'm not sure I don't have any monster trucks have we on console but um, we've got the car crusher if you want to test the suspension on vehicles you can again it's something a little bit quirky on this but I, I like it I think it's a clever idea um, and as we move, move further around again for me personally we've got a field here that's already been mowed and tedded so we've got a field with hay on the floor that's all good to go we've got a field with grass on the floor so if you want to bale or wind row or you want to show off a tedder, we can show off the tedding here on the grass field. If you want to bale or windrow hay, you can do that. That's all good to go already. But then what we've also got... I can't stop smiling. It's, 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 it's one of those weird things. Here. Why has this not been done before? It's a, it's a very clever idea. We've got a field here already cultivated. So if you want to show off cedars that aren't direct drills, you can use this field. If you want to show off ploughing, you can use this field. If we go another one over, we've got a field that's just been harvested and we've got straw swaths left behind. So if you want to show baling straw, collecting straw, using loading wagons, anything like that, you absolutely can here. But then what you can also do on this one is you can show off, again, cultivators, because that one's already cultivated, but you can show cultivators on here, because this is a field that's just been harvested. Um, either of those fields, I think we can show fertilising, and then we've got a field of sugarcane, again, all ready to harvest so you get any sugar cane equipment we can jump straight on and we can do you can do a bit of everything so as a test map goes i think it's great would i tweak a few things here and there yeah i absolutely would um i don't think i would have the static baler the uh, static wood chipper there i'm not sure i would need that if i was going to be showing off wood chipping equipment on a mod review or testing them out i would get a different one in as far as animals go, I would probably get some feed and stuff ready. Um, as far as all this stuff goes, if you were going to show off a loading wagon, an auto load or something like that, the stacks of bells are a little bit close together for, for me personally. But the fact they're already here already, I can grab a, a loading wagon, not an, a necessarily an auto load one, but one that picks up manually, and I'll just move those bales. I'll just put them in different piles, maybe up towards the grass field or you know, put them you know, further over or just spread them out a little bit. So if I want to show off an auto load trailer, I absolutely can. But we've got everything. We've got, we've got the straw, we've got hay, we've got silage bales, uh, sorry, grass, and we've got hay at the end, round and square of each. You've got the potential to do everything. Why would you need this map? Well, for the reasons I've already stated, it's a good idea to have a test map. And in all honesty, the beauty with this as well being that at 26.26 megabytes, you can have this installed all the time. It's not going to take up a huge amount of room in your mod hub um, to have it and to have it installed. But also the beauty behind it being if you do some landscaping or you do install a mod or you do something that causes a game crash or a clash or a problem, doesn't matter delete the save game go again because once you place the map everything's already here again it's not like you've got to spend a, i know mean, i've found at different times when i've had to reset a map or i've had to uh, i've decided you know what it's time to have a new mod test map that setting up the map itself ready to do mod reviews can take me a couple of hours you know for all the things I need to prep, all the vehicles I need to get, if I want to get piles or anything. I would probably add a buy anything silo on here. And like I say, I'll probably add some more money in. So for me personally, if I was doing mod reviews on this map, I would have a buy anything silo with the edge castiga ones. I'd have a sell silo as well. So when you buy too much, when you're setting something up, you can always sell it straight away and you haven't got piles of stuff sitting around. Or you can just reset a trailer to get rid of things. Um, and I would probably get rid of a load of the start machinery personally and there'll be three or four maybe five tractors I would have a lorry and a lorry trailer to kind of cover the bases and then any extra bits and bobs that I would need per mod review I would just grab when I needed to you know but I honestly I, I think it's a brilliant idea I think it's really clever it's set up well obviously I'm walking into the light but when we turn back around 
the lighting seems, for me, it seems a bit better than Big Fields Farm. And the fact we've got the shadows on this one makes a difference too. Um, there's not really much else to say about it. I'm just looking down the list of things on the website. You own the entire map. All pens are already installed. 20 of each animal but no horses. Yeah, I mean, it goes down the list. All the things I've just said. All fruits are ready to harvest. There's one with straw to collect. Cultivated field ready to plant or plough. 25 trees, wood crunch. Yeah, it's all there. All the stuff we have talked about. Um, and that's it. I'm just looking up at the time now thinking, is that one of my fastest? Is that one of the fastest map tools I've done? There's not much else to see if we go back to the map. We scroll back across and zoom back out. There are no roads anywhere. There's this main section here. That's the whole point. It's a test map. Um, but again, if you come on this and think, yeah, but I don't want it to be a test map. I like the idea. Then put your own roads in. Landscape it. Put some in. Give yourself some hills, smooth them out, do, you, do whatever you like. Add some more trees in. With the download as low as it is and the slot count as low as it is, why not? Make it your own. So there you go. That's Mod Test Map by Ninja Kurt. Cracking idea. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.